Welcome to the Small Business Office Showcase, where daily we provide you a quick tour of a government agency's small business portal or something similar from a large prime. We understand that as a small business, time and resources are limited. We hope by quickly summarizing this information, we save you time and perhaps put you one step closer to your next contract. In this episode, we're going to focus on the Department of Interior. To make it easier, easier for you to quickly do your own research, the links we'll discuss are going to be in the description below the video. In each episode, we're targeting six pieces of information we think are most valuable to you. Does the agency have a small business portal? Does the agency list out events it hosts or attends? Is there a forecast for the next 12 to 24 months? Does the agency provide a list of current primes that have an obligation to subcontract to small businesses? Is there any special registration required for this agency? And then finally, is there a list of people available that you can reach out to for help or get questions answered? You can see the basic results on this slide, but let's go ahead and take a quick tour of the government portal. So the first one we're looking at is do they have a portal? And they do. It's nice. Department of Interior not only has a nice portal functionally, but it looks really uh, awesome. Um, and so when you come through here, some of the key information we're going after is right here uh, across the top, and I really like that. So I al already know that the next um, thing we're looking for is events. Let's just jump right to that. The events page is here, <clears throat> and you can see that they have some good events coming out. Um, and this is pretty populated, so uh, it's exciting to see that they're actually um, got some events that could be really helpful to you. I like how the page reloads. Um, so this is good. That does a good job there. So that's the portal. Events forecast is the spreadsheet I have open. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm just going to zoom in here and move over a bit and you can see that this is a I think it might still be a little small for you sorry it's just a lot of information but it's it's good information they have a really good forecast I've been um, going through this earlier you can sit there and decide you know uh, can you find um, hub zones etc that are in there and then as you come over it has some of the most important information I always look for are the um, the points of contact and so here you can reach out to this person and send them an email in this case Timothy um, send them an email but you'll as you start coming down you'll start finding a whole bunch of other uh, folks in here as well that you can reach out to in the other organizations or components of Department of Interior so that's a good forecast there for us there are no subcontracting or registration requirements um, or no registration requirements in the subcontracting there's nothing that I could find and the last one is uh, context does this agency have context and they actually have two one is here on the doing business page and when you scroll down you'll begin to find what I consider the key context probably the you know the primary context for each one of these um, organizations but they also have another context list that I thought was phenomenal and that's this uh, large one with small business specialists and as you scroll down it's three pages of contacts that's um, pretty amazing the amount of contacts they have you can see that there's probably close to 50 contacts here. So if you're trying to do business in the Department of Interior, they do a good job providing that information to you. So let me go ahead and come on back here. Um, the information we're looking for in a particular agency, Department of Interior gets two thumbs up on providing it. And these links are right here. Don't worry about them being small because I'll also put them in the video um, so you can get to them right away. That concludes this walkthrough. I hope you found this information helpful as you continue to grow your business. Please provide any comments below or reach out to me directly if you have any questions using my email in the description. I'm your host, Neil McDonald with SV MacPack. I thank you for joining me today and hope you'll join me again for more video tours.